Yeah, I was just looking at the... Let me get up this weekly chart. I always like this one. So option enter on Mac for that shortcut. Option enter? Really? Option enter, yeah, when you've got those three screens up. Oh, holy shit. That's cool. Yeah. And yeah every they time I, I use this fucking software all day, every day, and I don't even know the basics. So. <laughs> oh, man, I'm still like that. But it's this, hey, hey, Maurizio, I, I was so excited about this this candle that's printing on the clothes. I kind of jumped ahead here because this looks like a capitulation candle to me where the buyers and the sellers got fucked. And that, to me, out of all the candles that we could have had is one that makes me, okay, I think we're still in the game with, with this. Yeah, we're, still, we're, we're still definitely in the game. Um. I'll wait until after you guys have said your piece because I, I I I've done a fair bit of thinking about it over the weekend. I think I I, I think I got a handle on. Nice, nice. Morning, hey. guys. How you doing? Hey, hey, good. Good. hey man. All good. All good. I can keep this on screen if you've any comments before we hand over to Scott. But that was the main thrust of my comment. I suppose it was from a a technical point, but also from like that emotional point as well. That you're looking at it and you're thinking, well, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm watching this unfold. Okay, I like this capitulation candle a bit more than some of the other candles. I'm looking at the daily and I'm thinking, well, okay, I've, I've got a lowest low in 10 bars now on the daily. So, yeah, I'm kind of feeling good. Where, where, what do you think, Maurizio? Yeah, it was interesting. Um, I feel good as well. Like it is, it, it was a sort of expected, especially I'm, I'm looking at a lot of choppiness. Uh, I was I was trying to scalp uh, some sewer stuff and it just went like this. It hit my stop and then hit my target. It's been really choppy. So I think that the interesting thing is uh, I was doing a lot of stuff this morning in terms of alts. Uh, alts are holding, are holding pretty well. Yeah, hold Despite of uh, Bitcoin and everything, um, you know, you expect that with a dump, you know, with the amount, like how Bitcoin actually dumped, you expect alts just going down dramatically, right? And it hasn't happened. So, alts were already very down. Yeah. But still, it's, you know what I mean? I've seen when this is, they get this affected is quite a bit. I yeah. This is this is my take on it too, Ian. I think this is a very sensible take. I think we've got a potential bottom, but it's too early to say for sure. But the best moves are when it's too early to say for sure. So I'll let you guys go, go first and then I'll jump in after you guys are done. Well, I'll be honest, I haven't got a lot more because right now I'm like, well, I'm seeing my job as relaxing. It's a hands off the wheel situation, not a fall asleep at the wheel, but a hands off the wheel. Yeah. Maurizio, I'm sure you've got a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just uh, share my screen Um, because, yeah, it, it looks it looks interesting. Uh, Let me just uh, share. Did you call the trade last week? You called, I think it was. I the, did. The, I the, did. I'll go. The trade. You know, yeah. Because but that's like the first trade in. Yeah, I was uh, doing some scalping in a way, right? Like, uh, and actually the trade stopped me out and then it actually went through. Um, but I, I, I got interesting things to oh, show you I guys. Sorry to interrupt, Mauricio. Scott, I think there's an error with your volume. We can hear you just a yeah. tiny bit. Yeah, there's, uh, let me see. I can't see him on the screen now. Sorry to interrupt, Maurizio. I no, no worries, mate. No worries. There might be an issue with his microphone. He'll be back with us. Uh, I muted All myself. Right. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. There you go. All right. So what I'm looking at is this is – this is the tracking of projects that I'm looking at in terms of the stuff that we want to get long, right? Uh, long term. And this is all the projects uh, that actually were launched, brand new projects. And we have Bitcoin here. And now most of the projects are actually performing better than Bitcoin, which is, 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 is you know, it's positive on a way, in, in a way. So in my view, if Bitcoin holds these levels, there is a highly likelihood that this will 
have a continuation going up, especially for instance, Drift. Uh, Drift was very volatile, but it's still holding up the levels that uh, that we actually got in. IO, same thing. Uh, and there is a bunch of stuff that are actually holding pretty well. So if, let me just, oh, by the way, Rare. This is the, the Rare trade that's got. So, so far, it's, I think I'm going to get out on this one. Um, I think it's, Dude, yeah. that's... <laughs> That was the trade. We talked yeah. about that, right? Fuck. Yeah. So that was a good one. I was going like I actually got out fifty percent around here, and I'm going to get the remaining out. So so far, so good is, on that one. I think this is a good one to jump from right here. That's a perfect trade, dude. Yeah, yeah, really good call, man. Uh really good call. So yeah, last week uh, I'll I'll go through what I did last week that it didn't work, but it was worth the shot. But actually, yeah, that's the down. Thing about stops, right? Because stops are very tricky to 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 point out. It, but if you don't have them, then uh yeah. So let me just go. So total three, in my view, uh, obviously is holding pretty well. Like if you compare Bitcoin, right, which it had this dump right here, and it actually went. I, I was talking about. I was talking about it on Friday that if you know these levels are actually pretty weak right here. Now, this is the major, major level. So this one or this one, you know what I mean? Like I, I it could actually hit, do kind of the same thing like this, but you can actually see all the liquidations that actually happen around this area. And it was actually triggering all this liquidation. People that actually went long around here, massive, massive. So we do have another type of liquidation right now. So it's kind of clean, clean slate to see if this is going to go again. So that's kind of, where we are in terms of Bitcoin. Ethereum though, is actually the one that worries me because it's not like holding at all. And the, the, the downside of, of this is there's a lot of alts that actually rely on, on, on Ethereum in a way, like on the open door, uh, all these staking things that are, so that's kind of what I'll be paying close attention this week in terms of those ones. Um, but from the total, I was going to ask, could you, combine with this, could you have a look at the coin glass chart that I just posted in the, the, the chat? And it just, as part of your Bitcoin summary, uh, I'd like your thoughts on, you know, like the Q4 as, you know, we look at these quarterly returns and it looks very promising yeah. for, you know. I, so I, think, I think you have to take seasonality in Bitcoin with a grain of salt because yeah. seasonality Seasonality was very, very strong 2018 through 21. And it was the, the, the seasonality that worked was literally go long Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in Bitcoin. Start mm -hmm. of the day, sell at the end of the day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And so things that simple, like this month is an up month, that month is a down month, this time of day is an up time, that time is a down time. Those are usually artifacts of inefficient early days markets. And I would not... I would have expected the smart people to be all over that already. Like there's enough professionals here now that like naive seasonality approaches probably aren't going to work anymore. Like, like in the same way that they don't work on stocks, but you know, the, the stuff yeah. that the, the kitty stuff that works on that worked on crypto in the first couple of years, you know, the professionals arrive and then it all stops. This is and the great. Thing is, yeah. And the thing also now that people have visibility around this, they, this, uh, this, this, this kind of an edge that everybody will know. You know what I mean? Like, so so obviously it takes, is less reliable in a way. And also taking into consideration that we do have uh, elections, right? And also we have, um, you know, the cut rates. Are they going to happen? They're not. So that's going to be a massive news in a way. So obviously I wouldn't go. And I love uh, to whether or not. Trump starts to look like if Trump fucks up, says so something stupid, it, it 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 might set things off to the downside again because Trump is unashamedly pro crypto, and mm -hmm. uh, um the other chick is you know unashamedly against it, like like it's like it's pretty clear. It's pretty it's pretty clear that level of uncertainty is stopping people buying it. I agree. I agree. So that's why I was only playing like, like playing like small time frame stuff and 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 get some scalps here and there. But that's my view in terms of uh, 
like alt total trees holding up pretty well and if you look at pretty much all the projects that i'm looking at closely uh what's going on with this thing HT is actually now in my view now. Uh, it, it, you know, it hasn't been able to drop, man. Like uh, I've been tracking it for the whole week, been sort of like aiming to get into it. Um, and what is this? In one second, that is not loading my. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah. So HT definitely is on my books now. Uh, I just it's one of those things that on any. Like the, the interesting thing that on the dump, right? It hasn't it like people are just buying this on any single pullback that they can, right? That's kind of what is is saying. So I haven't bought any. Um like I missed the opportunity here, definitely. Uh, but I'm sort of holding, but I really like it. H and T has been the strongest. No questions asked in terms of 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 it. Very similar with Tron. Tron has been quite strong as well, so I'll I'll talk about it. So uh this is kind of on my on my favorites, but things like uni, I've been tracking some stuff like uni holding pretty well on these levels. Uh things like uh you know we're we're in this one, we're in drift, so holding pretty well right there, IO holding pretty well right there. So the fact that all this new stuff is actually holding pretty well now. It is, yeah, it's one of those things that it feels like, well, you know what I mean? Every single, like catching the bottom is hard because you never know when is the bottom. You always think that this is the bottom and nice you always think that this is the bottom. That's nice price action off the bottom though. I mean, look at that. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I'm holding this one. And I do think, um, yeah, in terms of fundamentals with this one and and they, the IO is a um, uh, infrastructure project with AI, stuff like that. Same thing as ATH. <laughs> And ATH is just not there. IO is actually leading the race. So on that note, when everything comes back, I, I think this is going to be the strongest one of that in infrastructure place sort of deal. So that's why I'm holding that one. Um, but interesting enough, um, I'm looking. Uh, yeah, let me let me talk about of uh, Sui because Sui. Um, Sui has been monster, but but what about order? Is another one that we looked at last week that I'm. Oh uh, yeah, so tracking that one closely so I, I didn't want to get in because i knew it's a lot of airdrops happening so orderly um you know the, the the order token was a lot of airdrops so what i'm tracking is when is they they're going to sort of stop selling so you know this was tempted to actually get into here like on that was on wednesday but i knew a few airdrops that were happening and people keep selling right and but this one is in my books. This one is definitely, this one long-term, guys, I think it's going to be a really, really great project um, because, you know, it, 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 it is creating. chart considering what's going on. Exactly. I agree. I agree. And I'm tempted to actually start getting like a 50%. Uh, uh, I talked you know, about aping there. Yep. Yeah. I don't mind start sort of getting building a position don't go all in uh, but i might just uh you know start doing 50 percent around here this looks pretty good if it goes a little bit lower definitely uh keep buying this one but from the fundamentals perspective i do really like it have in mind the order um is going to be volatile because the the way that they paint their or, or their rewards they they're paying in order tokens so there's going to be a lot of people buying and selling this stuff. Uh, so it's going to be very volatile going forward. So I'm looking close at this one. I'm looking close at uh, Camino Finance. So um, this one is holding really well from the listing price. So the fact that, you know, it's, yeah, this all, new, all these new projects are holding, that actually it gives me a lot of... Uh, Hope on my theory of all these new projects are going to get much better than, uh, you know, the, 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 the project has been. theory that when the market comes back, the, the money is going to um, flow into things without a, without a, a history, without a, without a fucking, um, you know, coins without the thousand cocks to. Exactly. Because I, I, from, from the fundamental perspective, you, you know what I mean? When, when when new buyers come in here, you don't have a lot of sellers in a way, right? And everybody will have a lot of like 
everybody will have like this new hype going on and and, and so there's a highly likelihood that all these new projects appreciating value are they going to hold on to no idea but it will be a really good time to actually get in some cash in and you know what i mean that's kind of the theory on all these new projects stuff that i'm tracking so 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 yeah and this one as well uh i want to talk about this one because tracking this one for a while and look it up guys it's Natix and this is on a Solana network and it's promising in terms of long-term holding on this one uh so I might start another um so these guys uh sort of created an app and I downloaded the app and actually tested it and everything and what it is is they created the infrastructure that you actually put the app on your car and actually start recording pretty much everything. It's like a Google Maps. It's, it's actually recreating Google Maps with people actually driving on it. So, so it's like the it's going to be the the competitive the ready competitor of Google Maps in a way. So they created all the uh, so they get the recording and start mapping. So imagine a lot of people, you know, getting the recordings of what they drive around, and they actually send it to the service and actually creates the the mapping infrastructure it's pretty pretty neat pretty neat um and obviously for doing that then you get rewarded and then you get rewarded in, in, in addicts tokens and then they do have a promising sort of uh roadmap so it's brand new brand new stuff but but it, it looks really great man so this is the stuff that will allow crypto move forward in terms of what projects are going to be long term is this one going to be long term who, who knows man but the fact that it's a very low cap and you know uh it has promise like it has a really good utility on it so 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 i'm tracking this one closely and yeah it is it is holding pretty much right around there so i think it's not a bad idea to start even into this one so so those are those are my favorite for for this week in a way um but yeah ah let me talk about sui because ah oh, fuck sui man um yeah, I was doing a, a smaller time frame sort of uh, trade and got stopped out, but then it sort of went, went like got stopped out around here. Re really, really interesting price action because I saw a lot of holders around from, here. Yeah, that, so unfortunately, yep. That's people artificially ramping that. That is a, that is a non-organic looking steady dog walk twap buy that's a dog walk i agree which now i would like to choke if, short, by the way. One, if you pulled that down from a four hour to a one hour chart i think it would become very clear yeah, yeah you can see. So, so i think this could be a really good play for today <laughs> i've been but, tracking this so, one to short it for guys that don't know how this works let's say you want to buy 20 million bucks worth of Sui. If you went in and said 20 million bucks market order, the price is going to be a buck 30 inside a candle. You've overpaid and then it dumps as soon as you stop buying. That's a bad idea. So there's a couple of there's a couple of ways of like cleverly accumulating on dips, but sometimes a buyer will want to signal to everyone. They want to whip their cock out and say, look how big my cock is. Any of you that are selling here are just going to get wiped out. And so what they do when they want to signal what 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 big dick players they are is they is they do a very naive and obvious TWAP. And a TWAP is a trade weighted average price by order. So what it does is every time the price drops a little bit, they start buying again. And so these are very, very obvious to experienced traders like Mariti and I, I can see this from space. And all of a sudden everyone goes, Well, hang on, I was going to short that, but but it's obvious this TWAP guy is just going to like, he's telling us what he's going to do, right? Like he's hmm. like, it's the, it's the equivalent of a bluff in poker. So, so, so this is a very strong signal that, that someone's saying like short this at your own fucking peril boys. Mm -hmm. So yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. So, so I was looking at that and I was, I did, I was, I wanted to grab the, the upside. Uh, you know, for a little bit, but I got it stopped out. But then I think it could be a really interesting play for for short. So so, uh, yeah, that's what I've been sort of focusing on this week to to just scalp the market because I think long term 
either we do like big projects or interesting projects like that we can sort of start uh accumulating a position on or we just do stuff like this but uh yeah um by the way let me show you uh all the tron ecosystem uh because that actually i'm, I'm keen following it and i think um it's going to be pretty interesting so tron it is holding pretty well right pretty what well it, what it is sorry what it is it's holding incredibly well i know man and the fact that uh this is our my favorite place in terms of the meme stuff that is going on in their ecosystem uh sundog for instance this thing is holding amazingly well man like this thing is 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 not dropping and this is going this could be a really really good play uh so i'm tempted to actually just buy 50 percent of a position very small guys this is this is meme coin stuff in a way right same thing as uh, the solana meme coin so well my issue a signal today to buy just a little bit of this uh is holding frequently well uh same thing uh, um Suncat is actually getting a lot of momentum for far is actually getting momentum as well as well uh, this one is the worst the worst one and moncat this is uh holding up right there so and this is this is actually but my favorite is sonda but if you do not want to risk in a way or in a meme i really like this one the sun sun token so the sun token basically what it will do is um yeah is the is the actually sun pump token so all the fees and everything are actually going to be burned and is going to appreciate this in, in value. So the more traction meme tokens on the Tron network will have, Sun, the Sun uh, token will appreciate in value. So, so this is kind of what I'm seeing and it's been quite interesting the way that this is behaving. So, so yeah, still uh, I might start getting a position on Sundog. That would be my may prefer but if you want a lower risk play i think the sun token could be a really good one uh still funny in terms of this price action but um yeah that's that's what i have in terms of of what i've been tracking there's a lot of interesting plays man like if you so look how, at phrases how widely is sun sun listed as a perpetual so far is it on binance uh, here yeah so. uh the sun yeah sun is actually on Binance and they have a perp on Bybit as well. So, so this is let's, the perp. Let's take a quick look at open interest and see what that is compared to the market cap. Because I suspect the open interest might be jacking up. God, you trade some garbage, man. <laughs> it's crazy. That's what it's all about, man. Like, you know, it's movement, <laughs> right? <laughs> it is what it is. At the end of the day, these are the ones that actually give you a lot of volatility, right? So, Dude, so... I'm laughing. I, I, I'm laughing at you <laughs> in my favorite party. Like, like, I mean, let's just think about that for a minute. Of course. Like, think about Dude, it. Like, if you... I get it. I get it. You're right. You're, you're, you're right. <laughs> so um, this okay, is... So what this is sun. Open interest... What is it now? One billion? Fuck off. Yeah. Okay. So you'd have to think they'll be using the uh the exit liquidity there. I mean mm -hmm. One billion on Bybit. What is it on? What is it on Binance? Ah, uh, that, that was the aggregated one. This oh, is the aggregated. aggregated one. Yeah, and, and so, what's, so what's that's the total both. market cap. The market cap of this one. Ah, uh, how I can get it? That's a Here good question. Go. Market cap, yeah, but... 274 million. And the, and the, uh, and the perp is 1 billion. Mm -hmm. Aggregated. This, this is another, this is another exit scam, dude. For sure. 
okay so what this is is if you have some shitty meme coin that's valued at 200 million dollars you could sell at 200 million dollars you could probably sell two million dollars worth before you start to crash the price if you have a billion dollars in perps you can probably sell 20 30 40 million dollars before you start jack before you start jacking the price mm. and and so what they're what they're doing is ramping it up so that the retail guys come in and, and buy the perp and then they and then they short the perp and get out that way warren but, i have earning heaps of but, network fit. yep yeah agree but yeah exactly but the, the, the interesting thing on that is obviously the more action because they, 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 they're using this liquidity to launch meme coins right so the way that it works is they, they do have an automatic mechanism in where uh, you know, let's say you launch a sun pump uh, meme coin and then start getting traction. And when it hits the threshold, then you'll use the pool from but, the sun so thing to actually sun, launch it completely. So the so, sun is, isn't a meme. This is the the like the pump dot fund, the venue that serves them. Exactly. Exactly. Oh no! Then exactly. this, this is under, then this is undervalued. This isn't a scam. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Because obviously, from that perspective, uh, you know, you, you will see these actually burning tokens in order to actually like all the fees and everything no, goes no, no, into no, I this take one. Back everything I said, I'm totally, I'm totally yeah. wrong. This doesn't look like a scam at all. Then. Like I agree. A, yeah, a product with product, product market fit. Exactly right. Exactly right. And I just obviously. You know, the more traction the Tron ecosystem will get, that's the only downside. Like if 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 all these memes are, do not get any traction on the on the Tron ecosystem, obviously the the Sun uh, token will not um, will not appreciate in value in a way, right? But it is if if, if Tron continues on and the meme sector uh, on the Sun pump actually keeps going up, I think this could be a really interesting play. Um, very very interesting play. It actually long term in a way, right? Because obviously, obviously that will actually appreciate more and more and more. So, yeah, very interesting. So, have you got much more? No, that's it. I think that that's that's it for me. Okay, let me share my screen. One, one sec. I'm on the laptop here. We're at the beach at Noosa in Queensland, Australia. Um, okay, so the way that I, I'd like to get a little bit philosophical here, and I'd like to give you a framework for thinking about this this stuff. So right now we are in a situation where I think most of the sellers have been drained away. Like mm -hmm. I think most of the people who were going to sell either sold out here. Here, or they just got ground down into dust from here, in here, right? So the 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 market can't. My view of the situation is, we have the sellers are maybe at you know three percent power, but we don't have buyers stepping in yet. We don't, we have, we, buyers are probably still at only 2% power, you know, out of a possible 100. Uh, um, what we need to do is either shake out the last of the sellers, which would be horrific, or we need a catalyst to bring buyers in. If, if buyers stepped in today hard, because all the sellers are gone, it would really, really ramp up fast. It would ramp up faster than stocks. Mm -hmm. But who wants to buy today in the chat? Who feels like buying today? How do you feel on a scale of one, one no fucking way to 10, mash the button in the chat? Where do you feel from one to 10? Zero, three, two, three, six, seven. The better... The more the more experienced traders are a little bit higher, but most people are, are a bit low, right? Let's say we get a big candle that looks like like this. How do you feel about then? 
I just want to touch it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, I don't want to get into it. I don't want to get into it. Yeah, I feel a lot better if I see a candle light. <laughs> okay, so in in my view, we have. Let's take the penises off the chart. We're serious here now. We're financial professionals, for God's sake. If we if we look at representative altcoins like Sol, they all look the same, right? They're it's either it, they're either coming to support um, AVAX. They all look the same, right? You know, some are coming up a bit over others, with the exception of a couple, which is SUI and HNT. What we're seeing is we need we need one of two things to happen. The first thing is for our little boner candle. The other thing that that could happen is that we start going down, and everyone goes, "Oh, fuck off!" and we do and we do this mm -hmm. and then we do that okay so so what could cause this thing and what would that look like that would probably look so the worst case scenario would probably look like alts dipping below briefly their previous lows while bitcoin stays above the previous lows i think these bitcoin lows of like 49000 i think these have to hold Anyone disagree so far? No, it would be very nervous <laughs> below 49. So mm. I think the highest probability outcome for the bears is Bitcoin, you know, dipping to test these lows and, and then going altcoins touching through the lows and then going. That's the bearish case. The bullish case is we get a boner candle and then everyone who was like holding off, all of a sudden prices are back to where they were in april and we're back in the game and we're only two weeks of good price action from back in the game right like because remember we were all pretty optimistic here mm -hmm. yeah so what could cause that well what's causing buyers not to step in it's obvious mm -hmm. interest rates elections trump bullshit um recession fears you know that stuff there's no universe where this goes down to here and crypto rallies. It's not going to happen. This doesn't quite look like it's over, but when it's over and if this starts rallying, if the stock market starts rallying, once the stock market hits here, we're on. So I think we're we're kind of in the hands of the US dollar, which keeps. Hmm. Have a look at Japan, uh, Scott, because it had a huge retracement as well after the recovery. Yeah. USD JPY looking, you know, the, today's the day the USD, the, the Bank of Japan should step in. They could clear this bullshit out in one day. Wow. Um, yeah. So what we're really looking for is equity strength signs that they're going to drop rates signs that trump is 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 going to narrow the lead with with kamala and there's a debate on debate in two days right so we've got a whole lot of uncertainty so if you think about it in the big picture what people are um uh what people are worried about, we've got the sellers exhausted, but the buyers haven't stepped in. Why haven't buyers stepped in? Because they're worried about all this other shit. Any of those other shit things that people get to stop worrying about is going to start to have them thinking about buying back in again. Um, okay, we've got some questions in the chat. Um, which way does Bitcoin go if the dollar collapses and the US goes into depression? Bitcoin goes to sub $10,000. That's just the truth of it, man. Um, Jaguar, what about Binance freezing Palestinian assets on Binance? Means they can do that to anyone. Yeah, absolutely. If you if you leave mm. your assets if you leave your assets in someone else's 
hands and you sign one of those click here to agree to the terms of service and the terms of service says we can we can confiscate your money if you feel like if we feel like it then yeah absolutely you signed a contract that said that's okay doesn't matter if it's right or fair you you fucking agreed to it so so like you know thanks for playing you got your shit stole um not your keys not your coins exactly so nick jones hey nick how are you brother um yeah, so I think it's I think it's a waiting turn. Now, the last thing that I want to touch on is Maurizio's been doing some scalping. I would not do that. Maurizio is a much better trader than most of you. The sort of scalping that that we do mostly is an artifact of strong momentum. So in other words, it works much better when the market looks like this, and it looks like shit when the market looks like this or looks like. looks like this or you know it looks like this scalping is very very hard when the market is choppy mm. and, and a lot of nearly all technical analysis effects are artifacts of strong momentum so i would i would steer clear of scalping as in like trying to get in today get out at the end of the day but i think we're at a we're we're at a pretty reasonable risk reward point for for yeah. uh, going on some alts. Now, I'm not talking about a, a single day trade. I'm talking about like a week trade, a two week trade, a three week trade, like some test buys, just see how it goes. Um, I think that's probably the play here. Um, questions, guys. Uh, Nikki, what wallets are not vulnerable? No one can freeze you. No one can freeze your wallet. Um, any views on Sol? Yeah, I think Sol is undeniably um, the number two crypto now. I think Ethereum's made a bunch of strategic errors and they gave away the Ethereum. It, it was obviously Bitcoin one, Ethereum two, Sol three. And I think Ethereum's made a number of very catastrophic strategic mistakes and they fucked it up. Yeah, if the US stock market drops this week, it's definitely going to drag crypto down down. That's just that's just the way it is. It's like it's just it's just unreasonable to expect crypto to buck the trend that way. Is it too early to buy? I think it's about right to stick your toe in the water. I wouldn't mm. go. I wouldn't go full retard yet. I think it's. I think if you if you had you know a hundred grand to buy, I'd probably be buy, I'd probably be buying in twenty grand clips, and I'd probably buy the first one today. Very good point, Andrew. They call it accumulation for a reason. So accumulation is the phase where smart buyers are starting to get positioned before the market moves. And so that's kind of where we're at. And and that's, um, Greg, are you saying to sell ETH? N not necessarily. Let's look at that. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying that ETH compared to Bitcoin, this is ETH compared to Bitcoin. They just fucked it up, right? Let's look at ETH compared to Sol, which is probably the more direct. And this is Solana versus ETH. And you can see that Solana is outperforming ETH, especially lately. So if so, I wouldn't necessarily say Ethereum isn't going to go up. Like it looks okay. Like that chart looks okay. But I but I think Sol will go up faster than Ethereum. Warren. John, 4X leverage is a little bit much. Um, even maybe not on Bitcoin. So if you're longing Bitcoin here, let me show you how to do it. So you want to place your stop loss. either here or here. Probably split it into two trades. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, where are we now? We're at 55,000 and the low here is at 52,000. So risking $3,000 a Bitcoin to, to um, that's a pretty reasonable trade. 
And going long here with a stop loss at 48 is probably also a pretty reasonable trade. Obviously, the tighter stop loss is riskier because there's a chance that it comes down, hits your stop loss, and then goes, which will break your heart. Mm -hmm. it's, it's afraid it'll break your heart, right? And in which case, you're still, you're still good here. Um, so that's how I would play it. And what would that look like if you wanted if you wanted to risk a thousand bucks our entry we, we go to this position size calculator and the entry would be what 54996 and the stop loss would be 52500. And that would be a, a, on a ten thousand dollar account. That would be a position size of twenty two thousand. So that would be about two to one leverage, two point two to one leverage. So four to one is a little high. Does that make sense, guys? Um, Thomas Love. Uh, Kurt is yeah. This is def. This is definitely a high risk, high reward. Uh, place to get in. Definitely, you should be getting in when things feel when things feel like you don't want to get in. You should definitely feel feel that. Um, yeah. So I, I, I'm I'm not opposed. To, uh, like I'm already pretty long crypto. Like I'm I'm very long crypto, and I'm counterbalanced by fucking okay, Finrev portfolio. I've only got the ninety vol one up right now, which is the smallest account. But you'll get the idea. So. These are our positions ranked from biggest to smallest, and the only long is TRX. The rest we're basically short across the board. So I think the market's going to go up, but I have a substantial bet, probably 60% of my total stack is betting that it's going down. So I'm really only a, I really only have a 40%, you know, skin in the game here, if that makes sense. Um, any other questions? I think we pretty much wrapped it up for today, right? Mm -hmm. Um, we 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 share a copy of that that uh in let me give you. Yeah, I just did in a couple of separate messages. There is a copy in the group uh already. Um oh uh... I can you share just... mine. Yeah, there's there's a copy in the group in the 100x group already. It's just the knowledge that that sheet is part of a much larger uh, course. So there is some information in the in the group with it. Um, JJ Scott, if I want to top up Finref, should I wait a little longer? Got no strong view on that. Um, hmm. Typically, FinRev does outperforms in times of higher volatility. Right now, what does our volatility look like? Let me share. So if we look at... So let's look at a couple of different measures of volatility. Standard deviation, which is real volatility, is starting to trend up from a low base. So this is so so typically Finrev will do better in these periods. Although it did do it did do really well, it did really quite well here. We're just starting it. So yeah, I wouldn't like to have a view one way or the other on that. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't like. To, I wouldn't like to pretend that I've got a crystal ball that's accurate. Nice. All right. All right guys. Have a great day. See you all on the ground. Right. See you guys.